just uh, cruising along is actually really enjoyable. Not in any hurry, no schedule. Everything's running good. It's a beautiful day. One of the main reasons of, for doing this trip is to really figure out if I can handle a length of time more than just a couple of days on the boat. It's alright, it's okay, Chris is traveling today, oh, yeah, baby. it's alright, it's okay, cross country. The one big issue with the dinghy on the front of the boat is that you can't see through the dodger. Usually you can see through there and you can sit back and you have to stand up and look over the top. Oh, uh, I like this one view on the uh, Hummingbird. You can see your uh, Navionics and then you can also see what the uh, sonar is picking up on the bottom. So if you happen to see like the outside of a boat or something that's sunk or anything like that you can just hit mark mark that location and then come back and check it out this is the track I took coming in and this is me going out just giving these boats some room anyway it's kind of cool with the dolphin oh they have dolphins right there nice about this anchor in a two-piece it fits in the anchor locker really easily it's the 25 pound mantis model m2 basically you just got to uh, put it together with one bolt Put this little ring in the M2. Take up that space of things snug. It's nice to be able to work out of uh, <laughs> out of the hatch. Makes things easy. All right, then we're gonna put in a uh, rod washer. A nut. This bolt does not have the, the hole for a pin, so I'm just going to put two nuts on and a lock washer to keep her in place. This M2 anchor is like one of the best anchors you can buy. And we'll put another uh, nut on just to lock it. Lock her in place. Okay. And I keep everything in a uh, dry bag, the wrench and stuff. Had a couple of those drivers, so it just sits right in there. Now I know uh, some people say this 25-pound uh, Mantis is a bit overkill. Uh, you never feel like your anchor is overkill when you're in a when a big storm's coming your way. So uh, it fits in the locker with all the chain and rope. You've got about 35 feet of chain. I'm in about six feet of water. I really only need the chain. Condos are in a cloud of mist there. Got the dinghy out and set up. Taking it to shore here in just a little bit. There's a uh, gas station there's a little gas station mini mart over there there's also restaurants and we're um, gonna be here I think just one night but uh, we'll see we're going to uh, check my gas check my supplies and take care of that here because I'm not sure where I'm going next 
All right, getting ready for our third night. Uh, sun is setting. It's looking gorgeous. Some evening kayakers over there. We got the moon happening. I think I'm gonna make a uh, sandwich, just uh, some simple sandwich for dinner tonight. Got the anchor light on, ready. Down here. Just got this stuff out. We got some cheese, ham, lettuce, and tomato, bread, and chips. Looking pretty good. Ham and cheese, lettuce, tomato. I was just uh, listening to the news. <laughs> oh, today's December 7th. And they said 80 degrees tomorrow, probably. Look at that. 80 today, tomorrow 80 degrees. Is that awesome or what? It is the morning of the fourth day, our fourth day out here on the water. Um, we're on the Santa Rosa Sound on the ICW, and I'm going to uh, show you this fog we got outside. Right now, uh, I'm making coffee. It's like the most important thing. <laughs> Gotta have, gotta have coffee. All right, let's take a look outside and see what this uh, fog looks like. Here's what it looks like this morning. <laughs> it's like whiteout conditions. Crazy. It's the morning of our fourth day. The sun is actually up. Just, um, we have a lot of fog. I'm gonna slice up this chicken too. Make it all work. Quick breakfast. Waiting for the fog to burn off. Goodness gracious. So it looks like we're gonna have some uh, leftover chicken and eggs for a quick breakfast. Time for a little breakfast in the fog. I can see the, uh, the sun is right over there somewhere. <laughs> but it's early. It's trying to burn this off, it might take a little while. My objective today is to move the boat. Let's see, that's east. And I'm moving the boat around the other side of this bridge. There's another anchorage right over there. So I'm looking at the uh, bottom conditions and you can, the water's so clear. 
I can see here that we're actually over some grass, a grassy area. And uh, since I really am not going anywhere yet because the fog is so thick, I thought I'm going to try this rig where we've got a float. And what we're after, redfish, is really what we're after. From the float to the end of this line is about six feet. And what I'm going to use is one of these gulp shrimp. These are supposed to be pretty good. I, I don't know about this color, but that's what I got. So there you go. You might uh, look a little funny, but uh, let's hope the fish go for it. This is one of those popper bobbers. So it uh, snaps, makes noise when you when you uh, snap it. Anyway, should attract the fish. Got something. Which is pretty big. Big. I see the color. It's a big catfish. No, no, no. Big ass catfish. It's a big one. It's usually what you catch up here too. There he is. What I've got is I use this thing, grab the hook, de hook the de hook the fish. That way I don't have to, uh, get, they're really, these catfish are so slimy. Just like that. There we go. Apparently something happened over there, but <laughs> I still can't see anything. But I do see that my bobber is gone. Holy Toledo, I think there's a fish on there, but another big old catfish. There's a fish on there. <laughs> I know it's a catfish. These things are like. My bait's still okay. All right, we're gonna check our uh, starboard side gas tank. See how we're uh, see how we're looking. This is an easy access the previous owner put in to uh, water out there. access the. We got this dipstick that should according to this we got a little over two gallons. We'll let that dry off now. So I'm gonna Put this five gallons in there, and knowing there's about two, and the tank holds nine, this is five, uh, that'll be seven, so I can basically drain this into that, and then we'll check it again to see where we're at on the uh, on the gauge. And I just found it much easier and um, less possibility of spilling gas all over the place if I just uh, siphon it. And it works pretty good, and it's really fast, actually. Just like that, we're siphoning. All right, it's uh, 10:30 in the morning. Sun is bright, but the fog is still thick. And I don't think I'm going to go anywhere yet, but it's starting to burn it off. Crazy. I, uh, I'm ready. I think I'm just to the next spot. I'm just not going very far. So I've got the fro uh, a floating tow rope. Which is I'm going to pull the uh, 
the dinghy along. We'll see how it does. I'm going to go really slow. Shouldn't be any big deal. I also uh, checked the two-stroke and filled the two-stroke oil reservoir on the engine. So it's all filled up again. It was actually, there was a plenty of oil in there. There's a big reservoir. It's just been a pretty calm and casual day today. Moved the boat and not a whole lot happened. sun just uh, went down not that long ago. The moon is right there coming up behind those clouds. Here's where we are tonight. Still uh, Santa Rosa Sound. It's, uh, look at that light. What's happening is, uh, you got the intercoastal waterway out there. It's quite, it's a ways out. But I think even now you can see a tug going by. There's big barges. And we don't get big wakes, but we're, you know, the way the wind is blowing from the west, it's putting us straight in line with whatever wakes makes their way over here. And the boat's just rocking. So, <laughs> got a solution. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's something that I picked up a while back. I heard about because uh, I was suffering from that rocking back and forth motion. And here we go. These are called flopper stoppers. Got line. Hang one on each side of the boat. Got some chain at the bottom for weight. And what I found is that um, they don't stop the initial rocking, but they st but it slows down right away. It stops like within or just a short amount of time. Until the uh, top one is about a foot. Not quite, maybe on that side. And then we'll uh, hang one over here too. So they're both deployed. I think you can see them. 
about a foot underwater on each side. And it should help with our uh, flopping back and forth. A little bit of rocking action. At least slow it down a little bit. And it does actually appear to have an effect. Not a huge effect, but it does have an effect. 